Okay, we are with Professor Bratislav Depanish, the Chief Design Review Manager for the Sava Bridge Project. Thank you, Professor, for being with us. You're currently leading one of the most significant infrastructure projects in Europe, the Sava Bridge Project. At what stage of the construction process are you currently? Yes, firstly, firstly to say that it is one of the largest bridge momently under construction in whole Europe. And currently the pylon is at the half of the height, it is 100 meter. All overall height of the pylon is uh, 200 meters. The back span is at the end of launching, it is start the free erection of the main span. And also the side span started to be erected. Well, you have many years experience developing major projects throughout the Central Eastern European region. Why do you think it's become an area of focus for so many recent infrastructure investments? Yes, this area is very interesting because it is up to now in transition period. Now it is just opening for the, for the foreign investment for the Western countries and not so many developed, neither highway, neither railway. So I think it is the right way now to invest and it is very interesting. A field for investing. So I understand that there are several projects currently in development in Central Eastern Europe, like the bridge over the river Adra in Poland, the new motorway development in Kosovo, and the Danube Bridge 2 linking Bulgaria and Romania. Which projects are you most excited about within this region? I think that all the, these three projects are very interesting. I, I have been in Poland for 10 years uh, designing the largest bridge in Poland. It is now constructed and I know the Pol in the Poland there are two large rivers, Odra and Vistula, and they need uh, several bridges across these large rivers. So I think it is it is the opportunity to build it now. In Kosovo, Kosovo is new developing area, and to be open, to be open for the Europe, to be open for the transition, to be open to to pass through from Albania to the other countries all around, to Kosovo, Macedonia, Serbia, Montenegro. I think it's, it's very important to build the highways. And I know that in Kosovo uh, several highways are under construction. Also, I know very well the bridge between Kalafati Vidin and across the Danube between Bulgaria and Romania. It is very important for the Europe to be connected to the south and southeast. To, to North Europe, not only through my country, Serbia, but as well through Romania and Bulgaria. Thank you. Okay, as a speaker at Construction IQ's Bridges events, you will be sharing your experience from the Sava Bridge project. How important do you think it is to learn from regional case studies, and does it help tackle the challenges you currently face? Yes, I think it is very important. Uh, we can learn from the other case studies in the other countries, in the Western Europe and also in the other Central European former Eastern countries. I think uh, that all these case studies have, have similarities, although they are uh, di different, different issues as well. Okay, do you foresee the Euro codes to increase the competition with the whole of Europe? And crucially, do you expect the codes to open up the previously closed markets of Central and Eastern Europe? Yeah, yes, I think that it is very important that Eurocode is now adopted almost in the all European country, including United Kingdom last year, as I hear or this year. And I think the other countries that are not adopt that were not up to now adopt the Eurocode, they must do it because it is a very very great opportunity to have the common the common rules, the common design codes. Although it is still missing uh, the, the corresponding union norms in each field. For instance, union norms for construction works, concrete works and steel works for construction works are very needed to be linked with the euro codes because euro codes are only for design. Thank you. Do you think that the Central Eastern European bridge building community have a lot to learn from Western European experts? Yes, I think so. Um, although, for instance, in my country we are very experienced in, in bridge building. We had some of the bridge world records for some bridges, for large bridges, cable state bridges, in former states, former Yugoslavia, but now everything changed. 
and this, the technology is going up and I think that we can must learn from the Western countries, from the Western experts, not only in design and construction but also in organizational works, to have the quick works, to have uh, feasible, feasible structures, to have no risks in, in constructions, everything. I think it is very necessary. Okay, and what do you think the biggest benefit of hosting conferences such as Bridge Construction Europe are? I think this con uh, these conferences are very necessary to, to exchange the, the ideas between Eastern and Western countries, to exchange the, the experiences between the, 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 between the experts, and I think it is very necessary.